Okay, these are all we need to uh, make a uh, Gofrim pump. Okay. Some of them are uh, already pre-cut. This uh, 2 inches uh, PVC pipe is about 40 inches. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, measure it. The whole one is, uh, the long one is 10 feet long. So when we cut it, we uh, divided it into three. So let's go ahead and measure them. Yes, this one is a uh, 40 inch. It's a little bit longer than uh, the one that uh, they sell at store or online. So this one is longer, almost a foot longer. So this is gonna be better. And uh, I'm gonna make this better. So let's see. First, this is the one that I'm gonna make it better because this inside is small inside right there it, it stops right there when you put this in it stops right in between so before we had to cut it right here but this long and put it inside and put the other and in here when we cut it so this time we're not gonna cut it we're gonna grind the inside but we're gonna cut it right here so we can have access more access inside so we'll just do it okay let's go ahead and do it okay let's go ahead and cut it clamp it first so we're gonna cut it right over here so we can have access inside to to grind the inside right here and it should be good right there should be good okay we made the cut right here but one and a half so cutting the other side too but one and a half so it's gonna be right there. One and a half right there. Right there.
Okay, let's go ahead and cut it. We have to remove this part right here. We're gonna cut it right here. The same as the other side. So let's go ahead and get some uh, cutter. Let's go ahead and drill it here. And let's do the other side right here. Same thing. Same position cut. Right there. Okay, now we're grinding this part right here. And we're grinding it so the two inch pipe can go through so we do, it doesn't get stuck right here. Because when you uh, pump and using this, it's gonna get stuck right here. And it's gonna hard to push out or to pull in. So let's go ahead and grind it.
Let's uh, hammer it down. It's a rubber mallet. Look like it went through. So we're just gonna put the cap on. Okay, here's the cap that we need to put. Kinda not really all the way down, but uh, a little bit more than halfway. So we're gonna put it in. the camp let's see how far it went well, it's almost uh, all the way in so let's see how far this the gap right there so this is a lot better when you pump it doesn't get stuck inside because already straight no more step inside so it's almost done let's go ahead and continue out there okay uh, i didn't bring the glue so uh didn't bring the glue so we'll just cut it you know right here so just cut right here so this uh, one inch uh, pipe that I bought is like two feet long So cut about uh, two inches of this, two inches for the handle. This is gonna be the handle. So. so cut it right here, two inches. So right here the handle put glue like I said I didn't bring the glue so put it right here and when you put glue you have to uh, go all the way in okay right here the two inches uh, pipe right here put glue and then go all the way in so there's no gap and later we gonna grind this bump there are two bumps. Okay, 
Okay, got another uh, two inches and uh, put it, put it here. Okay, here's another two inches, put it here. And uh, again, put glue and put it all the way. And there's the cap. So it should be uh, shorter when you uh, glue it and tap it all the way. I just forgot to bring the glue, so there shouldn't be a gap over here. Just tap it all the way in and right here. Put uh, glue on this thread. Right here. And that's the handle. Should be shorter after you uh, put glue and tap it. Hit it with a mallet or hammer. It's gonna be about this short and straight. So let's go ahead and grind this bump. There are two uh, bumps right here, top and bottom. So you're gonna make it clean and straight. Let's go ahead. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, grind the handle. So it's gonna be uh, straight, no bumps. So. Okay, that's it. Okay, this is the handle. Okay, it should be a uh, straight, no gap over here. I'm gonna put glue uh, later when I get the glue. So you just put glue and hit it with the hammer to get closer. All right. Okay, next step is we can drill a hole here. 
right here right in the middle but uh half inch so we can put the half inch pipe to for the pump handle okay We can make it bigger with a grinder, so it's small, we'll make it a half inch. Let's go ahead and uh, grind it. Okay, there's already a hole right there. Again, about half inch. It's already drilled. So. Okay, this is the screw that I got, it's kind of small bolt, but this and we're going to have to drill a hole here, but the same size as the screw, the bolt right there, so we just got to drill a hole right there. There we go. There's a hole to remove all the the nuts and bolts and the washers and you can put on the washer. You just leave one washer in there and put it right there. So it goes this way. Good. We can just screw it in. Let's get the screwdriver. Oh, we can do it by hand, all the way in. Right there's loser now. After we put that there. Put the washer. And uh, not there's the nut right here. It's th about three inches uh, long. So yeah, later on, put glue right there and tighten it. Now keep make sure it's tight. 
and the seal is like a rubber or a slip old slipper that you don't use put it here first and then the washer and then the wing nut so right there I'll uh, do it later when I get the glue so after uh, this gonna glue it here duck up in the half inch and put a stainless steel screw here right where the cap you know on top of the half inch pipe right there let's go ahead and continue later we're gonna do everything later <laughs> 